Oh, oh, scientists, thanks goodness you're here. We've got a big problem. Just look. <sighs> Something is wrong with Mia. I don't understand it. She just totally stopped functioning this morning. Oh, right. Uh, by the end of today's uh, lesson, you'll be able to describe the parts of a simple circuit and assemble a functioning circuit. Let's get into it. Mia needs our help. Okay, I found Mia's operating manual. Uh, it says here that Mia runs off the power of curiosity and wonder. Well, she's got plenty of that, so I don't think that's the problem. Uh, ah! It says she also needs electricity to keep her running. Well, we learned all about that in our last lesson, so let's go with that. Okay, it says here that electricity needs to flow through a circuit. But what's a circuit? I don't... <laughs> hey, calm down, scientists. The answer is right here. It says that a circuit is a path through which an electric current can flow. Cool. Cool. What? Of course, of course I understand what that means. A path through which... An electric current. You know what? I've learned best by doing. Let's just uh, take a look under the hood. I'm sure we can figure this out together. No problem. All right. So the operating manual says a circuit needs to have a power source, a load, which is a device that uses energy, and conductors for the electricity to travel across. Of the pieces here, what do you think is the power source? Yeah, probably the battery. Huh. I know that electricity can move through wires, so those are probably the conductors, and that means Mia's arm motor must be the load for this circuit. So we have all of the pieces of a circuit, but it's not working. What do you think the problem could be? Well, the battery is the power source and the load needs power. It seems like we just need to find a way to get the power from the battery to the load. What should we try? Ooh, I've got it. How about we just connect a wire to the battery and to the load so electricity can flow? Oh, uh, looks like that wasn't quite right. Okay, let's think about this. A circuit is a path an electric current can flow through, but just creating a straight line didn't work. Hey, does the word circuit remind you of anything? Circuit. Circuit. Circumference. Circulation circle. Hey, maybe we should try making a circular path for the electricity to flow through. Okay. I have one wire connected to the battery and one to Mia's arm motor. If I also connect this other wire to the motor and the other side of the battery, of course, if the circuit is a circular path, the current can continuously flow. The manual says that this is called a closed circuit. So how do you think I'd make it an open circuit? Maybe if I just open the circle, Oh, and there we go. There's now an interruption in the path, so the current can't flow. But, uh, let's just put that back how it was. Great. Now Mia's arm motor seems to be in ship shape. We know now that a current needs a closed circuit to flow, and an open circuit will stop an electric current in its tracks. But Mia doesn't seem to be back to her normal self quite yet. So let's see if she has any other circuits that need fixing. Ah, uh, okay, it looks like the circuit for Mia's voice box is also not functioning. But this looks like a closed circuit to me. What could be wrong here? Well, let's think about what we know about electricity to try to figure this out. What 
do we know about electricity? I remember that electricity is the flow of electrons and electrons have a negative charge. I know that like charges repel each other. Oh, look, the battery seems to have charges too. This end of the battery has a negative symbol and this end has a positive one. Electrons are negatively charged, so they must be repelled by the negative side and attracted by the positive side. That must be the force that pushes the electric current. Great. So what do I need to do to fix the circuit? Okay, let's connect one wire to each side of the battery to create the electric current. And there we go. It looks like Mia's voice box is up and running. Awesome. So now we know that an electrical current is created by the forces between charges and a current needs a closed circuit in order to flow. I feel like we must be getting close. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else not running properly. Aha! It looks like Mia's core processor isn't running. She can't do much without that. Oh, but this circuit has a part we haven't seen yet. The operating manual says it's a switch. It says it can open or close a circuit on demand. Well, Mia's core processor doesn't seem to be getting power right now. Does that mean the circuit is currently open or closed? An open circuit prevents energy from flowing, so this one must be open. What do you think, scientists? Should we press the right button? Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Mia, you're back! Oh. I guess the switch closed the circuit and got power to your core processor. Well, you're very welcome, Mia. No, of course I wasn't worried. You know me, I, I was cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Thanks to the support of the scientists, of course. Let's review everything we've learned today so we're prepared next time Mia's circuits need repair. A circuit is a path through which an electric current can flow. Parts of a circuit include a power source, conductors, a load, and sometimes a switch. A circuit must be closed in order for electricity to flow, and a switch can open and close circuits. To learn more about simple circuits, be sure to check out the activities and practice questions that go with this lesson. Thanks so much for your help today, scientists. Next time, I'll remember to stay positive and go with the flow. Remember, scientists, curiosity is the architect of discovery. See you next time. Hey, hey.